Hello survivors, welcome back to Paint and Play Minis. Last video, I know I promised to make a building for the modular streets that I made, but it's actually taking a little longer than I thought. So, to avoid uploading a video next year, I made a shorter video showing how to make a variety of doors. I know, I know, not the most exciting video, but doors are actually important in the game of Zombicide, and probably in a zombie apocalypse. So let's make some. These are ones that I plan to use in my upcoming building piece. They can also be used as standalone pieces in place of door tokens. What you'll need are giant tongue depressors, cardstock from a cereal box, glue, hobby knife, and some paint. Technically, the tongue depressors are optional, but I like them because they give some thickness and durability to the doors. Measure on a depressor how big you would like your door. And using your hobby knife, score them so they have a breaking point. Using your hands, slowly wiggle them back and forth till they eventually come apart. If there are splinters on the ends, just cut them off using your hubby knife. Using the serial card, measure out the outlines of each door. Now that you have your eight, nine doors, let's make door patterns for them. I looked online at some door images just to see the different cut patterns that exist, and I drew a rough shape on each of the cards just so that they could be different. This seems like a job for a more precise hobby knife, but don't let it fool you. <laughs> That's not a knife. At some point, the new blade broke, and I switched to my better blade. That's a knife. Once you have your door patterns cut out, glue them on your sticks and let it set for about 30 minutes. For one of the doors, I'm using some clear plastic sandwiched between two card stocks. I'm also leaving two of the doors blank as these will be male and female bathrooms for my upcoming building piece. I cut these smaller pieces out for the male and female door signs. I painted them blue and used a white gel pen to draw the figures. Not the best symbols I've drawn, but it would have been much worse if I tried to paint them on. Once they are dry, get any color paints you want and coat them with a nice thick layer. Adding some black and brown wash is good too if you want the doors to appear dirty and worn. A quick dry brush will help cut the intensity that the wash has left. If you want to use these as 3D game pieces with stands, then get a piece of parchment paper, some hot glue, and some pebbles or whatever else you want to use for basing. Hot glue doesn't stick to parchment, so once it's cool, you should be able to take it off. To help the material stick better, I mix some PVA glue with gray and brown paint. Now
Next, you can paint on some details and you're pretty much done. Use it in your next game to give it an extra element of dimension. My next video will be the finished building piece I am currently working on. Here is a sneak peek at where it is at so far. It's about 75% done, so stay tuned as I will be finishing it up. Thank you to everyone watching now that also watched my last video, as that one has now become my most watched video, and I'm nearing my first 100 subscribers. I'm still getting into the groove of filming and editing, and I'm realizing that nothing has to be perfect to share with others. Thank you. Stay safe, stay alive, and keep crafting, survivors. Thank you.